Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today has finally arrived and it's cruise day. I, I'm so excited. I know, right? He doesn't look very excited back there, does he? I am. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Kristen. This is my husband, Terry. Uh, we just film our vacations. Um, we do snack box uh, once a month on Sundays. Um, we try to like venture out once a month, just be, go do something new and exciting. So we hope you will subscribe and stick around. So today we are in Galveston as always, and we are fixing to head over to board the Carnival Dream. This is an eight day. So this is our first eight day. Uh, we are going to Key West, Freeport. Half Moon K and Nassau. So this this trip is brand new for, for us. We've never been to these ports. Uh, we've never done an eight day. And this also will complete our dream class ships. We've been on, our very first ship was the Magic and we've been on the Breeze twice. twice? I thought it was three times, but maybe it was only twice. Twice. Okay, so. Um, we hope you will stick around. We have some exciting things planned. Uh, we have a exciting excursion in Nassau that we're looking forward to. So we hope that you will subscribe, turn on the notification bell and stick around for the upcoming uh, vlogs. So for now, we are going to go get in the car, go park, go get on, go get in line at the terminal to board the dream. And we will see you in a little bit. that goes around your back, 
a light and a whistle and the reflective panels, okay? Any issues with that, go to guest services, they can get that replaced for you very easily. So to start with, place the life jacket over your head. Like so. Grab the middle band. Should have probably prepped it before, shouldn't I? Never mind. And grab that around your waist and click it together there. Pull it tight, it needs to be really nice and tight. It's not supposed to be comfortable, it's there to save you, okay? And then you've got the top one as well. Put it back together so it doesn't move anywhere. It really reasonably worth getting the water. You have your light here, top it on, but it will happen automatically as soon as you hit the water. So there's no reason to worry about it, it'll just happen. Obviously, we're not going to be doing that right now, so hopefully not. You have the whistle here as well and your reflective panels. That is it. You are all. All right, guys, so we made it on board. Um, as you just saw, we did. Um, we already went ahead and did our muster station. All in all, by the time we entered the terminal, I hope y'all can hear me. Um, entered the terminal till we actually got on the ship. It was an hour and a half, so not too bad. Not our fastest, but not too bad. So um, we actually got some guys' burgers. So we're gonna sit down and we're gonna eat these. Uh, probably go get some dessert, um, and then go and check and see if our luggage has been delivered or not check out the room and I'll show you that as well. I'll no, do a, probably are, do a separate video. So let me turn the camera around and show you what we got to eat. All right. So this is mine. Fine, Cannot wait fine, to eat yeah. this. I, um, I know you are. Those are that is his. He got a double. So we're going to enjoy these and we will probably see y'all when we get some dessert. I know. Found the warehouse. So we are gonna do our tradition, which is play a round of what is it? Air hockey. So, oh wow, look at this, guys! So we would have a blast with that. Look at that! I could see Zoe running around the house with it. Hmm. Trying to shake it. Oh. Gotta somehow cut that cord. Yeah, this will never extend, but it ain't gonna work. Because the two arms are freaking are off. Yeah, the two arms are not level. Look at the big squishy mellows. Small uh, warehouse. Right. Okay, well, it was broken, so we did not get to play our air hockey as normal. That's okay. All right, we're gonna go and we're gonna check out our dining room and see if we can figure out where our table is. Hopefully, we are by. <laughs> There's a ledge there. <laughs> Good thing it was caught on camera. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. <laughs> I never said I was I was that coordinated to film, talk, and walk all at the same time. Yeah, you've been doing pretty good lately. You let me out of my bubble. Well, don't blame me. All right. So as I was saying, we're gonna go see if we can figure out where our table is and take Before a look. You test the durability of the games.
This is Galveston. Down there in the new terminal, you have Adventure of the Seas, and in front of us is the Vista. We'll open the front here in a minute. We'll see the see the Vista a little bit closer. It is not the cleanest of waters. Yeah. But as you can tell, Galveston is a very industrial. But I don't know, the cruise industry may start taking over. Their MSC is wanting to come, and I think they've already started contracts. So. Yeah, from what we've seen and heard, they're talking about first sailing sometimes in 2025. So that's not very far from now. So we made it to the very front of the ship. We are on deck seven, which is where our room is. There's the Vista. Now way down there is the Adventure of the Seas. Yeah, considering the weather been the last couple of days, it's been pretty not bad. Yeah, the, the weather coming in yesterday, guys, was horrible. And when we got here, it was cold and it was foggy, real foggy. So, and wet. And wet. And right above us is the bridge. You see me all out a little bit. There we go. And there's the bridge. And there's the door that we came out. Let's go over here and see what this looks like. And of course you, you can go down here. That would be deck six. And then deck five, which I think might be crew deck down there. See right there, that's one of the cameras. Even on vacation, he's always on his phone. No, I shut it off. Three and a hours and 15 minutes before we're supposed to leave. Yeah, it's what, 12 30? 1245 or about be 1245. Okay, and we leave at 3.30 this year. Yep. So we're already in our room because we have a suite. Um, I believe I mentioned that on a different video, but um, we got a really good deal on a suite that we just simply couldn't pass up on. And so of course our room was ready when we got there and on board. So we immediately dropped our stuff off and went and got something to eat. But yeah, so we're just waiting for our, our luggage to be delivered so we can unpack. Really? So. Yeah. I'm very excited to get this going. I'm waiting and waiting and waiting for this one. Uh, we've had a book for what, two years? Um, yeah, I think we have had this one booked for about two years. We rebooked it. Um, after the pandemic finally restarted everything took off because um, we were actually supposed to go on the centenary 2020. I think 2020 and then 2021 we were actually supposed to go to California on the panorama um, 
but since the, it, everything had restarted, we were scared about going to California because the numbers were still high at that time, and flying and, and all of that, so we canceled that one. But that's okay, that's still on our list, and one day we'll, we'll get there, so. We'll do it, because we're already going to start knocking off some of the stuff that we said we were, some of the ports we said we were going to do. Yeah, so we're hoping in a few years we're going to head to Bermuda. Very exciting. Um, unfortunately, we did have to push off Alaska instead of 25. We'll have to go to 28. Um, and then hopefully a few years after that, we're going to do our Canada and New England trip as well. So I really, really want to do that one. Yeah. Maple syrup Canada, eh? <laughs> yeah, maple syrup. So. We're just going to sit out here for a little bit. We're going to enjoy the nice breeze. It, feels it does. We're in the shade, so we don't have the sun beating down on us. Um, maybe see some dolphins, who knows? And then we'll head back to our room and just kind of sit for a little bit. Maybe sit on the balcony. Just relax um, until sail away, and I don't know at that point where we'll be. I don't know if we're gonna go check out the sail away party um, or sit on our balcony on the way out. I don't know. So it's always been kind of up in the air. Sail away. Yeah, I mean we've done something different, kind of almost every year, kind of. Yeah. So. It, We'll see. Sometimes we're up here on this deck. Sometimes we're on the Lido deck. Sometimes if we have a balcony, we're in our balcony. There's been times where we've sailed away that we've been in the room unpacking. <laughs> then there's been a couple of times where we sailed away and we were at dinner. Yeah, yeah. There's been a year that we left late. We were already at dinner by the time we left. Um, but yeah, so, and the reason I say in the room unpacking, I think we did that on our first one because we didn't know no better, you know, we, we'd never been on a cruise before. So the only way we knew we were leaving was we were turning and uh, we could feel that, so. Yeah. So we will check in with you here in a little bit. Yeah, buddy.
you gave me a wave, I'll take it. Friends, hi, how are you? Very good. Friends, most importantly, do you like my shoes? Yeah. I got the Macy's on sale. Yeah, they're Steve Madden. They're half a size too small, but it's fine, it's fine. If I pass out, it's fine. Well, friends, my name is Lele. I'm your cruise director. Everyone say, hey, hey, Lele. Yes, and I come to you from a very exotic place. My full name is Leilani, but I know that's a lot to say, so we say Lele. And um, does anyone have any guesses where I'm from? Hawaii, good guess. I mean, it makes sense, my name is Hawaiian, but I'm from a place just as exotic. Any other guesses? Philippines, close. Detroit! Los Angeles, close. What was that? Texas, close. Ohio! You know me, don't you? I come to you from Nova Scotia, Canada. Not. It's unfortunate. I am from Nova Scotia. Has anyone been to Halifax before? Oh, why? <laughs> you're, you're Canadian. Where in Canada are you from? You're, you're from Yukon Territories? No way. Give that a round of applause. to 10 and we are done <laughs> we are so done um i've been up since three this morning i couldn't sleep in the hotel that bed was very uncomfortable he woke up about four because he couldn't sleep so i'm fixing to take all of this off jump in the shower and crawl into that bed and go to sleep <laughs> so hopefully that bed is a lot softer than the one in the hotel room <laughs> i know many both of us hit that bed we're out yeah so um so i'll be brief i'm not gonna take long tonight but recap of our day we had a good day um we didn't do much y'all saw we just ventured around a little bit we went to the welcome board show um so 
we spent some time on the balcony just kind of relaxing when we were sailing away out of Galveston uh, before dinner. Um, I showed y'all dinner except for appetizers. I totally forgot to snap a picture before we ate them. We were talking with our table mates, um, which actually we got lucky on this one. We got some really good table mates. Um, and it, it's weird. It's like we're almost all from big cities or around big cities in Texas. All that's missing is West Texas. One San Antonio. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're close to Austin. One is from uh, Dallas. And the other was from Houston. Was from Houston. So we were just missing mainly San Antonio. <laughs> so, um, which we all thought was kind of funny. Um, but dinner was good. It was really slow. I'm going to say that that's just because it's embarkation day. Everybody's trying to get settled in and everything like that. So hopefully it does pick up. Because um, it took us a good hour and a half to eat or so. Hour and 45 minutes, something like that, to eat dinner. All in all. I mean, it took them forever just to come and take our drink orders. Um, so that's, that's something different. But... It is what it is, so. But dinner was good. Um, it, it was really good. Was your dinner good? Yeah, it was good. It was... Yeah, and what he had, guys, was the basically like the chicken parm and a little bit of spaghetti from Cucina. Um, that's something new since they since last year they put on the menu, and you can order it, and you weren't doing you didn't have to do an upcharge for it, which just was kind of surprising. Because, I mean, if you went to Kachina, you'd have to pay for it. Yeah. So. But overall, we've had a really good day. Um, the only thing aggravating about today was we left, what, almost 45 minutes to an hour late from Galveston? We left an hour late. Um, I, I don't know. Nobody came on, even told us that we were going to be leaving late. Uh, we went out uh, on the deck around like right at 3 30 and you know we were still tied up and everything and then we started seeing them still be pulling luggage out of the terminal bring it to the ship and it just kept going and going and going and even the vista left before us and they were supposed to leave at four and they left almost 10 minutes early they left about 15 minutes early so they left about 3 45 well our neighbors next door literally like, well, they were out there, and they were saying that it looked like the the crew down on the docks was actually shorthanded. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what it was. They were, they maybe started with our luggage and then had to do vistas and finish that up and then finish ours, which didn't make any sense because we were supposed to leave first. But, yeah, I think they were shorthanded. Uh, but it is what it is. We're gone, and we'll make up time. You know, we always do. They always make up time. It's only an hour. We've already passed them. Yeah, and we passed the Vista, and they left. They were way ahead of, ahead of us when we left, and we passed them while we were at dinner. Um, and then the Adventure of the Seas is actually following us still, so they're still behind us. So, um, but but overall, we had a really good day. Uh, it was a good good start. It's overall. not the typical granted knock on wood. It's not doesn't seem the typical party crowd no I mean, there are a lot of kids there on are a board, lot of kids but... because there is still technically spring break for, um, other states. for other states and stuff so they're they, they are calling this a spring break cruise um i guess that's every cruise in march now um we haven't cruised in march in years um we started in may we went to april and we pretty much stayed in april but the next few years this year and next year are in march and then 25 we go Almost to the end of April before well, we go. Next year is the beginning of March. Yeah, we'll leave on March the 1st next year. So that's like, I think that's Texas spring break. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, um, there is a lot of kids. It's not too bad yet. But there seems to be a lot of older crowd on here as well. Um, there was a lot of diamond that boarded, actually. Diamond and premium. And platinum. Thank you. But... Usually you don't have a whole lot of actual diamond. You have more platinum. And there was a lot of diamond that boarded. 
So um, I say it's mostly diamond, platinum, and, and gold. Blue cards. There's a lot of blue, but there's a lot of gold too. Uh, I haven't seen a whole lot of red, but I've seen a lot of blue. So, but I mean, it is what it is. If somebody's got, we started in blue, we started at the bottom. It's what it is. Wow. So, tomorrow is uh, our first day at sea. Um, of course, we'll get up, we'll go to brunch. Um, there is some trivia going on tomorrow that uh, we plan on doing. Um, Oy. Yeah, we're starting to rock a little bit. Um, a little bit of trivia going on. Um, so, I'm not real sure what we'll all bring tomorrow. Um, I mean, if y'all have cruised before, you know, sea days, there's not a whole lot going on. So, uh, it'll probably be more of a relaxation day for us. Um, we usually... We won't be busy in the next few days after that. Yeah. Pretty much three of our four port days are going to be really busy. Um, um, so, you know, we're going to relax a little bit on our sea days. <laughs> so... Um, what we tend to do a lot is sit in Ocean Plaza and we play cards. And we play trivia in between. Mm -hmm. That's what we, we tend to do a lot of. So, but we also go and do things, other things around the ship. Um, maybe we'll go back and check out the arcade and see if um, the air hockey is, is working. You know, cause you gotta we got to go find that Darth Vader duck. That guy 3D printed up a lot of them. Yeah, um, somebody in our cruise group did 3D, 3D printing of a lot of ducks, like different sizes and Darth Vader and a bunch of different kinds. So maybe we can find some. That would be pretty awesome to find one. Yeah. So, but anyways, guys, as always, we are glad to have you. Uh, we hope you will consider to subscribe and stick around. Um, cause like I said, we do have some really fun things coming up this week. So, and with that, we're going to say good night and we will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.